If I could only get out of this bed for a little while. If I could... If I could get a breath of fresh air or just lean out of the window or... Or see the street. <laughs> Hello, Albert? Hello? 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 Oh, what's the matter with this phone? Hello? 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 Oh, for heaven's sake, who is this? Hello? 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 Your call, please. Hello, operator. I don't know what's the matter with this telephone tonight, but it's positively driving me crazy. I've never seen such inefficient, miserable service. Now, 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 look. I'm an invalid, and I'm very nervous, and I'm not supposed to be annoyed. But if this keeps on much longer... What seems to be the trouble, please? Well, everything's wrong. I haven't had one bit of satisfaction out of one call I've made this evening. The whole world could be murdered for all you people care. And now, now, my phone keeps ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing every five seconds or so. And when I pick it up, there's no one there. I'm sorry. If you will hang up, I will test it for you. I don't want you to test it for me. I want you to put that call through, whatever it is, at, at once. I'm afraid I cannot do that. You can't? And why? Why, may I ask? The dial system is automatic. Oh. If someone is trying to dial your number, there is no way to check whether the call is coming through the system or not. Oh, Unless the person who is trying to reach you complains to his particular operator. Well, of all this stupid... And meanwhile, I've got to sit here in my bed suffering every time that phone rings, imagining everything. I will try to check the trouble for check you. Check it, check it. That's all anybody can do. Oh, what's the use of talking to you? You're stupid. <gasps> I'll fix her. Of all the impudence. Oh, how dare she speak to me like that? How dare she speak to me like that? Oh. Oh. She could do it. Call, please. Young woman, I don't know your name. But there are ways of finding you out. And I'm going to report you to your superiors for the most unpardonable rudeness and insolence that has ever been my privilege. Give me the business office at once. You may dial that number direct. Dial it direct? I'll do no such thing. I don't even know the number. The number is in the di directory, or you may secure it by dialing information. Now listen here, you... Oh, what's the use? Oh, dear. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm going out of my mind. Me, do you hear? Answer me. Who is this? Do you realize you're driving me crazy? Who's calling me? What are you doing for? Now stop it. Stop it. Stop it, I say. Hello. Hello. If you don't stop ringing me, I'm going to call the police. Do you hear? The police. <laughs> oh, if Albert would only come home. <laughs> oh, let it ring. Let it go on ringing. It's a trick of some kind. And I won't answer it. I won't. I won't, even if it goes on all night. I won't. <laughs> now, what's the matter? Why did they stop singing all of a sudden? What time is it? Oh, where did I put that clock? <laughs> Five to eleven. Oh, oh, they've decided something. They're sure I'm home. They heard my voice answer them just now. That's why they've been ringing me. Why no one has answered me? Oh, I'm afraid of it. Oh, where is she? Why oh, doesn't she answer? Oh, I'm afraid Why doesn't she answer? Oh. Your call, please. Where were you just now? Why didn't you answer at once? Give me the police department. I'm sorry. Just a minute. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. The line is busy. I will call you. Busy? 
busy, but that's impossible. The police department can't be busy. There must be other lines available. The line is busy. Oh. I will try to get them for you later. No, no, I've got to speak to them now, or it may be too late. I've got to talk to someone. What number do you wish to speak to? I don't know, but there must be someone to protect people beside the police department. I, 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 a detective agency. A, a... Uh, you will find agencies listed in the classified directory. But I don't have a classified directory. I, 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 I mean, I'm too nervous to I look will it up. You and I will collect information. Know. Perhaps she will be able to help you. No, no. Oh, you're being spiteful, aren't you? You don't care, do you, what happens to me? I could die and you wouldn't care. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it. I can't stand anymore. Hello. What do you want? Stop ringing, will you? Stop it. Hello? Is this Plaza 42295? Uh, yes, I'm... I'm sorry. This, uh, yes, this is Plaza 42295. This is Western Union. Yeah. I have a telegram here for Mrs. Albert Stevenson. Yeah. Is there anyone there to receive the message? Y yes, I I'm Mrs. Stevenson. The telegram is as follows. Mrs. Albert Stevenson, 53 North Sutton Place, New York, New York. Darling, terribly sorry. Tried to get you for last hour, but lying busy. Oh. Leaving for Boston, 11 oh. p.m. tonight on urgent business. Back tomorrow afternoon. Keep happy. Love. Signed, Albert. Oh, no. Do you wish us to deliver a copy of the message? No. No, thank you. Thank you, madam. Good night. Good night. Oh, oh. oh no. No, I don't believe it. He couldn't do it. Not when he knows I'll be all alone. <laughs> it's some trick. It's some trick. Some fiend. Some fiendish trick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, what is the answer? <laughs> Your call, please. Operator, try that Murray Hill 7093 number for me just once more, please. You may dial that number direct. Oh. You. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, Albert, how could you? How could you? <laughs> oh, I can't be alone tonight. I can't. If I'm alone one more second, I'll go mad. I don't care what he says or what the expense is. I'm a sick woman. I'm tired. <laughs> This is information. May I help you? Uh, I, uh, I want the telephone number of Hensley Hospital. Hensley Hospital? Yes. Do you have the street address? No, no, it's somewhere in the 70s. It's a very small, uh, private and exclusive hospital where I had my appendix out two years ago. Uh, Henschley, H-E-N-C-S. Well, will you please hurry and, and uh, please, what is the time? You may find out the time by dialing Meridian 71212. Oh, for heaven's sake, I've no time to be dialing. The number of Henschley Hospital is Butterfield 70105. Butterfield 70105. Henshley Hospital, good evening. The nurse's registry. Who was it you wish to speak to, please? I want the nurse's registry at once. I, I, I want a trip nurse. I want to hire immediately for the night. I see. What is the nature of the case, madam? 
nerves. I, I, I'm very nervous. I, I need soothing and, and companionship. You, you see, my husband is away, and I'm... Have you been recommended to us by any doctor in particular, madam? No, but I really don't see why all this catechizing is necessary. I, I, I just want a trained nurse. I was a patient in your hospital two years ago, and after all, I, I do expect to pay this person for attending me. We quite understand that, madam, but these are war times, you know. I know that. Registered nurses are very scarce just now, and our superintendent is asking to send people out only on cases that a physician in charge feels it's absolutely necessary. Well, it is absolutely necessary. I'm a sick woman. I'm I'm very much upset, very. I'm, I'm alone in this house, and I'm an invalid, and, and, and tonight I overheard a telephone conversation that upset me dreadfully. In fact, if, if someone doesn't come at once, I'm afraid I'll go out of my mind. I see. Well, I'll speak to Miss Phillips as soon as she comes in. And what is your name, ma'am? Miss Phillips? And when do you expect her in? I really couldn't say. She went out to supper at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? But it, it's not 11 o'clock yet. Oh. Oh, my clock has stopped. I thought it was running down. What time is it? Just, just 15 minutes past 11. What was that? What was what, madam? That, that click. Just now, in my own telephone, as though someone had lifted the receiver off the hook of the extension telephone downstairs. Well, I didn't hear it, madam. Now, about this... But I, I did. There's, there's someone in this house. Someone downstairs in the kitchen. And they're, they're listening to me now. They're listening! Ah. I won't... I won't pick it up. I won't let them hear me. I won't let them hear me. I'll be quiet. I'll be so quiet. And they'll think, oh, oh, but if I don't call someone now, while they're still down there, wait, there'll be no time. going to murder me, and, and you've got to get in touch with, you oh, oh, there it is, there it is, did you hear it, he's, he's put it down, he's put down the extension phone, he's, he's coming up, ah, I'm, he's coming upstairs, okay, okay, give me the police department, the police department, give me the police department. One moment, please. I will connect you. I can hear him. Oh, I can hear him. He's coming near. Oh, I know it. Hurry. Hurry. Hurry, please. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Must have got the wrong number. Precinct 43, Sergeant Martin speaking. Police Department, Martin speaking. Police Department, Martin speaking. Oh, Police Department. Police Department. I'm sorry. We must have got the wrong number. But, but don't worry. Everything's okay. So closes Sorry, Wrong Number, starring Agnes Moorhead, tonight's tale of suspense. This is your narrator, the man in black, 
who conveys to you Columbia's invitation to spend this half hour in suspense with us again next Tuesday when Mr. Donald Crisp and Mr. John Loder will star in the suspense play called The Extra Guest. The producer of